Welcome to the video on the invertibility theorem. In the last section, uh, we showed that, or we discussed how the statement A is invertible is equivalent to the statement that the linear system AX equals B has exactly one solution for every B. So we saw how those two statements are equivalent. And what we mean by equivalent is that you can simply insert an if and only if between the two statements. And another way of seeing that, of course, is to think of the double implication, the double arrow. So that's the same as saying if and only if between the two statements. So those are two equivalent statements, and we're now ready to state and prove several equivalent statements to the statement A is invertible. And so if we read the theorem together, it's called the fundamental theorem of invertible matrices, and or simply actually uh, the invertibility theorem. It's another name. And so let's read it. If A is an n by n matrix, then the following statements are equivalent i.e. for a given matrix A, they are all true or all false. And so if we say that the matrix A is invertible, a statement that is equivalent to that is the linear system AX equals B has exactly one solution for every B. That's what we saw in the last video. And that statement is equivalent to the homogeneous linear system AX equals zero has only the trivial solution, right? So if we're using the same matrix A, but the system is homogeneous, then that unique solution will be the trivial one. That is equivalent to saying that the rank of A is N, the rank being the number of leading ones in its reduced echelon form. And that is equivalent to saying that the reduced echelon form of A is the identity matrix. In other words, A's were equivalent to I. So we're saying that all of these statements are equivalent to the statement A is invertible. And how do we establish this equivalence? Well, in the proof, we're going to establish the chain of implications. A implies B, B implies C, C implies D, D implies E, and we'll close the chain with E implies A, going back to A. So we could, could think of it as a cycle of implications. So how does that prove that they're all equivalent to each other? Well, for example, if you wanted to show uh, that C is equivalent to A, that statement, the homogeneous linear system AX equals zero has only the trivial solution is equivalent to saying that A is invertible. Well, then you can invoke the fact that C implies D, D implies E, and E implies A. And so you have that C implies A. And in the other direction, if you want to show that A implies C, well, you have it right here, A implies B and B implies C. And so by establishing this cycle or this chain of implications, we can establish that any two statements are equivalent, and therefore they are all equivalent. And so let's start that proof with the first implication, which is simply A implies B. And so we know this to be true, but we just need to write it a little bit more formally. So we'll say it like this. We'll say, let A be an N by N matrix, N by N invertible matrix, right? Because that's the premise, invertible matrix, well, I'll say this, if AX equals B is a system of linear equations, is a system of linear equations, then we can solve that system. We can multiply both sides by A inverse, and we saw how to do that. So we can multiply both sides by A inverse, because A is invertible, so A inverse exists, and therefore we have A inverse times AX equals A inverse times B on the other side. And of course, we know that this A inverse times A is I. And therefore, so I'll put an IE. And therefore, I'll say that we can simply conclude, you know, let's write it like this, therefore, X equals A inverse times B is the only or the unique solution, the unique solution solution of the system. And this is true no matter what we choose as a B, right, as a matrix B. So solution of the system, uh, no matter, no matter the n by 1 matrix B. And so if this is true for any matrix B, then uh, we've proved the implication, right? And so this leads us to B implies C. And this statement is almost trivial, uh, pun intended, I guess. Um, so here I'll say this. I'll say consider consider the uh, linear system linear system ax equals b uh, with unique solution with unique solution uh, x equals a inverse times b uh, for any for any n by one matrix b. So it looks like I'm repeating a lot of things, but 
uh, when we're showing in a formal proof, for example, if you were asked to prove just B implies C, then you do have to write the uh, premise again. So for any n by 1 matrix B, um, well then if B is equal to the zero matrix, if B is equal to zero, and this would still be an n by 1, right? So then the homogeneous linear system, the homogeneous genius linear system ax equals zero would have the unique solution uh, so system um, or rather this is a homogeneous system has the unique the unique solution uh, x equals a inverse times b but in this case b is zero matrix and so this is equal to zero i.e the, the trivial solution trivial solution and that is, is the proof. Um, so that's B implies C.